Hello friends, welcome back. We are on card number three for my Christmas in July series. Today I want to show you how I created this card using some stamps from Mama Elephant that are not Christmas themed and we're going to turn them into a Christmas card. So let's get into it. For this card today, I'm going to be using the Mama Elephant Little Unicorn Agenda stamp as well as the Magic of Christmas stamp from Simon Says. And I'm going to be using this square cover-up die from Mama Elephant as well. The first thing I want to do is I want to get my background ready to go because it it's going to need to dry because we're going to be using some metallic paints. I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine using some Nina Desert Storm cardstock and we're going to do some ink splattering on the background. When I first started this card, I was going to just do like white and do like snowflakes in the background. But as I started using my metallics, I figured why not add some more color? So I decided to add some more using my Art Philosophies um, metallic paints. This has kind of been my favorite lately. I recently went through all of my products that I have and I came across this set and I realized that I really don't use it that much, but I absolutely love it and it is one of my favorites. So you can see here that I was going to use some white gouache and just use the white metallic colors from this set, but then I ended up changing my mind because I like the way that it looked so much that I felt like just using white wouldn't really, I don't think it was enough. You know how I am. I really like to kind of jazz things up. I'm not really, it's really hard for me to do simple. <laughs> I just, I really like being a little bit extravagant. And I think that this card really showcases that. So this is where I was going to go with this. I was just going to do this and leave it at that. And I was like, mm, it's kind of boring. I don't like it. So, and we're using magical unicorns and unicorns are glittery and sparkly. So I decided to do... Um, more. Once I got the white all on there, I added color to the green shade, the like the reddish shade, and the gold. And I'm just going to do the same thing I did with this white. I'm just going to get those cakes nice and wet, and we're just going to start splattering them all over. Um, when I started doing the red, I was like, "Oh, it kind of looks like blood." I was like, "Oh, that's a little morbid." I was getting, I was a little freaked out by it. But once I add the green and I add um, the gold, it doesn't look that way at all, but I was just kind of like, uh, that's a little creepy. So, but like I said, once I get the green going on here and the gold, it just, it really makes it like Christmas exploded all over this card base. And it just, it really looks nice. So I set that off to the, off to the side to dry and I'm going to get started on my coloring. Um, I didn't show the coloring of all of these unicorns um, just because it was a lot and they were all colored basically the same way and I'm using some MFT extreme black ink and some Nina solar white cardstock this is Copic friendly cardstock because I am going to be using my Copics today so just going to hit that with my heat gun just to make sure the ink is dry um, all the colors that I'm going to use to color these unicorns are listed along the side here and I wanted them, their main bodies to be like a white shade. So I'm going with my warm gray colors and I'm just adding some shading here or there just to give them some depth and dimension. Um, like I said, I was thinking about doing them in different colors, like their actual bodies, but I was like, oh, that'd be too much. I just add a little bit of R20 on the cheeks and I added the Y13 to their little horns. I will be using um, some glitter pen later to cover that up so you won't really see that. My reds are um, my favorite Christmas red colors and my green is my favorite as well. And that's basically it. These unicorns were really easy to color in. Um, you could color them any way that you wanted to, but this is just the way that I did it. Um, I did a lot of practicing to figure out the best way to get like Christmas colors in there without making it look a little weird. Um, but this turned out really good. I liked doing them as like individual strands of hair or big clumps of hair or mane. I guess it's mane because it's a horse creature. Um, and that's basically it. Once I had them all colored, I cut them all out and I went in with my Stardust glitter pen and I colored in their little horns just to give them some more shine. And I added a little bit of white gel pen to their cheeks. And that's it. 
these unicorns were really easy. This card could be knocked out pretty quick. Um, I didn't really have a whole, like it took me a while to color them all because I have a lot on here and I actually ended up coloring extra because um, I wasn't sure which ones I wanted to use. So here's all of my unicorns colored in. Um, I already have all of the little horns colored and their little cheeks done. They were a lot of fun to color. Um, I kept asking my family, I was like, do these look Christmas to you? Like, they were like, well, why do you care? And I was like, because I wanted to use something that was non-traditionally Christmas and turn it into a Christmas card. So my panel is all dry now and we're gonna get to assembling. Oh, I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. We're gonna stamp our sentiment first. I decided to stamp it on some black cardstock because I thought it would really pop. And we're going to fussy cut out this sentiment. I am just using some black licorice cardstock and I'm going to do some heat embossing with some Brutus Monroe alabaster embossing powder and some Versamark ink. This is my favorite combination to do white embossing. If you haven't picked up on that already, I use this a lot. Um, it's my favorite. It's a really nice embossing powder. And I really like using it on black or just any kind of dark cardstock. So once I get that stamped down, we're going to coat it in this embossing powder. We'll hit it with the heat gun to get all of that embossing powder nice and melted. And this embossing powder shows up really, really bright um, on this dark cardstock. I had a little bit of pieces that kind of got away from me. So I just used a dry brush to brush away the areas that I didn't want is the one thing about black and uh, cardstock and white embossing powder, it seems to like stick to everything. So using an anti-static powder tool really, really helps. So I'm just buffing away all of the leftover um, anti-static powder um, after I got this all heated up. And I'm just gonna take my fussy scissors, or my, my scissors here, and I'm gonna fussy cut around this sentiment because um, this doesn't have a die. And I didn't wanna have a whole lot of black on the card. I just wanted to kind of showcase the image. So I'm just going around the image here with a little bit of a border and I'm just cutting it out. Um, this didn't really take me too long and I really like the effect that this has. Once I get that all trimmed out with my scissors, we're gonna go ahead and get started on assembling the card. Now that our background panel is all dry, I'm gonna go ahead and get a A2 sized card base. This is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm gonna score it in half to be a top folding A2 size card. And this is just some 110 pound Nina cardstock here. And we're gonna attach our pieces. So at first I was gonna use the whole piece. I was just gonna pop up the frame and I was going to set the little unicorns kind of down inside of the frame. But as I started working on this, um, I realized that it was almost too much. <laughs> so. Like I mentioned before, I like adding a lot, but then sometimes I add too much and it looks a little bit overwhelming and I didn't want the unicorns to get lost. So I just went through and add a little bit of tape runner to the back of each of these squares and I was getting ready to take the frame portion of this die cut and I was gonna add some Darice 3M foam strips to pop it up. But then when I saw this on the white, I was like, ooh, I kinda like this a little bit more. The unicorns will really stand out and so will the sentiment. So I was like, hmm, right here I, could, I knew that it was going to be too much. So I saved that frame for another card, and we're going to add some Doris 3M foam strips to the back of our sentiment here, and we're going to pop that up as well as the unicorn. So that will give us the dimension that I was going for, and it won't be too much. So I'm just going to speed through this part here. This is kind of, you know, tedious work. If you've ever worked with foam strips, you know, it can be a bit, you know, time-consuming, but I really like the way this looked. I probably could have used just some um, 3M tape, but um, I had these Darice ones sitting here nearby and I just decided to use those. And I get that all lined up and I really like the way that this looks. I was really enjoying how this was turning out. And I'm just gonna arrange my unicorns here on where I wanted them. I tried not to put like the same kind of unicorn standing in the same direction and near each other. I guess it doesn't really matter, but um, my favorite one is the one that is down on the bottom in the middle. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like that unicorn is being really sassy. <laughs> and I'm gonna use 3M foam tape on the back of all of these unicorns. And again, I sped through this portion because it's kind of repetitive. I'm just adding 
the 3M tape to the back of the unicorns, and then I'm going to attach them all down. And I wanted them to be kind of, you know, a little bit random. I didn't want them all to be straight in the center. And I'm going to add some Wink Estella to my sentiment here, just to add a little bit more sparkle. That will finish up my card for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button as well as the subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos during my Christmas in July series. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys again real soon in the next one. Bye. On screen, I've got a few videos that I think you'll enjoy. Consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more videos here at my YouTube channel.